What is going on, beautiful people? Lee Hammock, your favorite self-aware narcissist, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about reactive abuse, how your reactions to the narcissistic abuse can make you, 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 look like the abuser. That's why controlling your reactions is so important. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. So what do narcissists do when they get physically assaulted by their victims as a result of, what, of, of their abuse towards the victim? So yeah, if you don't know what reactive abuse is, it's when a narcissistic person, toxic person, or whoever just pokes and pokes and pokes you, and then you have, a, you, you have an erratic reaction. You explode. You become somebody you've probably never been, been before. You start behaving like you've never behaved before. You yell, you scream. Sometimes you punch and kick, you throw things and whatnot. And if you happen to assault that narcissistic person, a lot of times they will rec record you and they will not hesitate to get a restraining order on you, y'all, or press charges on you. If you put your hands on a narcissistic person, a lot of them will absolutely, absolutely press charges on you to make it seem like they, to make it seem like you've been the aggressor the whole time and to play the victim, regardless of whatever they have done to you. So if they put their, put their hands on you before and you didn't call the police on them, they will do it to you. I promise you they will. They'll press charges on you. They'll get you locked up. They'll make you waste a lot of money on lawyers. And sometimes they'll actually stay in a relationship with you while they're pressing charges on you, y'all. So boom, welcome back, well, 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 welcome back, y'all, welcome back, welcome back. So if you can read the text message, the, the, the text on the screen, it says, what do narcissists do when they get physically assaulted by their victims as a result of their abuse? Yes, yep, reactive abuse is real, y'all. So what do narcissists do when you look like the abuser, when you're reacting to the stuff that they've done to you, when you're reacting to the things that they've said, the things that they're doing to you behind the scenes? They will call the police on you. They will file restraining orders on you. They will blackmail you. They will record you and use it to keep you in a position that you not don't you don't necessarily want to be in because you you're fearful that they will release this video or whatever it is that will make you look abusive. They will absolutely do this type of stuff because they feel empowered to do it. And this is why I try to preach them one of my main messages is like y'all got to watch out. <laughs> you really do like narcissistic toxic people will continuously do this type of thing y'all because they feel like they get a direct benefit from it right they feel like there's a direct benefit in it for them to continuously be this abusive person and then you get this reaction from you that makes you look like the abuser they love it love it love it um they love it love it love it um, when you look like the abusive person, they love it. When you give this big reaction to the things that they're putting you through, they love it. When you are saying and doing the things exactly how they want you to say and do it, they love it. Y'all, they love it. Yes. They will file a restraining order against you. I don't look, I don't care in the past. If in the past you could have filed a restraining order against them, you could have pressed charges against them for domestic violence or abuse or something like that. Right. And you drop the charges because they convinced you otherwise, right? Y'all wanted to work things out. When the shoe gets on the other foot and they ha they are in control of it, whether or not they press charges, a lot of them will absolutely press charges on you. A lot of them will absolutely follow through with pressing charges and making you look like the abuser here in this situation. Now people are like, well, Lee, that's not fair. Exactly, it's not fair. Dealing with the narcissist, you, you're dealing with the narcissist, a lot, fairness kind of goes out the door a lot, y'all. Fairness takes a back seat to actual the actual dynamics of the relationship right like fairness is not a real thing that you under like you you're not you're, just, you're not going to get fairness in a toxic relationship with a narcissist let's just be real fairness does not exist for narcissistic people toxic people it just does not it's one of those things that just does not exist right so you can want them to be as fair as you want them to be but it's not going to work out for you typically it's not going to work out for you because narcissistic people want to have the upper hand. So they will absolutely press charges against you. Even when they told, when you drop charges against them, you're like, but I dropped charges on you. I didn't file, I dropped the restraining order on you. So what? They don't care. You should have done it. That's what they'll tell you. You should have done it. Or they'll minimize what they did and just say, hey, you were lying anyway. Yours is fraudulent. Mine is real. I got proof. They will follow through and they will ruin your damn life. They will follow through and they will ruin your life. They will ruin your time. They will ruin every, y'all, they will ruin every damn thing that you have going for you. 
So that's why I'm telling you right now in this instance that you have to stay in pat. You have to stay strong. You have to do what you need to do because they will ruin your damn lives. You have to get control of those reactions. You have to, because if you are the physical assault, and I get, I get comments all the time in my comment section, I would have threw hot grease on them. I would have threw hot water on them. I would have hit them with a frying pan. I would have did this. I would have did that. Guess what? If they haven't physically done anything to you and you physically do something to them and somehow it's recorded, somehow, somehow there's witnesses, you look like the abuser. Nobody's going to, but, but, but your honor, they, they said some stuff to me and they were poking me all day. And then, yeah, I hit him with the frying pan. Two years in jail. I've, I've talked to people who have went in, who, who've got, pro, who've got felonies on their record from reactive abuse, from reactive abuse. They were getting poked all day, hit them with something, po push them down some stairs or something like that. And they get, they have felonies on their record. Now they lose government jobs. They lose things in their life. They get the kids taken away from them. For a reactive abuse incident, they will absolutely press charges on you. Some of them will press them on you, but then they'll drop them. Not, uh, not every one of them will follow through all the way. Some of some of them want to scare you into and get you to make some all all types of promises and sign documents and stuff like that. Some of them will use this as blackmail and get you to change how you treat them or get you to change something about yourself. But and, and some of them will drop it. But a lot of them will follow through with it, y'all. I know how hard it is to control y'all. I understand how hard it is to get control of those reactions. I'm about to be 39 years old. <sighs> Just thought about it. I'm about to be 39 years old in 18 days, which is insane to me, right? That's insane to me. Um, that I'm about to be 39 in 18 days. Um, dang. But I be feeling like I'm too old to react now. <laughs> that's, that's what I was going. I'm too old to be reacting now i'm too old to be doing this type of stuff now of course i, I, I when i was in my, in my younger days I, I was a reactor i was a reactor i was like a little nuclear narcissist reactor right you have to be an empathetic responder you don't want to be an em, empath reactor or narcissistic reactor you want to be a an empathetic an empath a codependent or whatever whatever you whatever you have going on uh, whatever you identify as Responder. We were responding instead of reacting because when you res listen to respond instead of reacting, the power of remains with you. No matter what they say, no matter what they do, you're not going to throw something at them. You're not going to push them down some stairs. You're not going to hit them because if you don't take a deep breath, I'm just yeah, I'm just I'm just telling y'all. There's people who are in depression right now because they lost custody of their kids because they're on camera reacting to the narcissist abuse. They're on camera reacting. They're on camera being looking like the aggressor. So they will press charges on you. They will ruin your life. Bully, what if I didn't meet y'all? In the court of law, no matter how, like, and y'all, and some of these cases look crazy as hell. Some of these cases look absolutely insane. You'd be like, wait, they, they got you, they got a restraining order on you? You're five, five, two, 120, 120 pounds? They are six, five, 300? And you have physical uh, physical charge on them for pushing them, pushing them. Yes, y'all. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. No matter how big or how small you are, you if you on camera doing something like that, or they can prove they have witnesses, they're going to do it. They're going to follow through with it, and they will ruin your life. They absolutely will. So it's something to consider the next time before you before you react. I'm just, I'm just hey, I'm not saying I'm just saying. But anyways, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Y'all know I appreciate I appreciate every single one of y'all. I'm super thankful for every single one of y'all. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, as always, Mental Hillness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Helps reach more people. And click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video. Peace.